Today, I'm going to show you how to create and use our beautifully realistic t-shirt template. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is going to be so cool. I made a custom t-shirt template in Photoshop. We're going to show you how to use this template and you can download it for free on Flurn.com. We've included things like wrinkles, the shadows, and the highlights. All you got to do is pop your design into one of these smart objects and it automatically transforms beautifully onto these t-shirts. It couldn't be simpler. And today's episode is brought to you by one of you beautiful people out there. Chris Cole sent us an email asking if we could teach how to do a t-shirt template. So if you have an idea for an episode, please leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you and that's how we get our ideas for this episode. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you how I created this template. We're going to show you how to use the template and then you can download it on Flurn dot com slash t t e e all right guys let's jump into photoshop all right guys so jumping into photoshop here is our template ready to go so we have a front and the back of the shirt now i started off by creating a selection around our actual shirts on a new layer we are going to go to select down to color range and then we can actually select the color range that is the blue in the t-shirts so that's how i actually selected out the blue from the t-shirts now from that selection, what I did is created a layer mask. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and you can see this is my exact layer mask. We've got basically a really clean layer mask of the shirt. Now a layer mask basically makes a certain part of a layer visible and a certain part invisible. So in this case, the white area is visible, the black area is not visible. Okay, now I loaded that layer mask onto a hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so when you guys download this template, you can change the color it, of the shirt extremely easily. All you have to do is double click right over here on our adjustment layer and here I can change the color. I just click and change my hue. There we go. We can have any color shirt that we want. I can change my saturation. You can go like down to gray. You can go super saturated and you can even make it lighter or darker if you want to as well. So basically any color you can think of is going to look great on this shirt. So that's the first part which I think is incredibly cool. And uh, the next part is even cooler. Okay, so let's go ahead and say that's the color we want. Again, if you wanna change this color at any time, just double click there, change these sliders and you're good to go. All right, next we have our actual designs and this I'm actually particularly proud of. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how we did this. So we started off by creating a couple of smart objects that are actually in the shape of the t-shirt. So. Basically, if we hold down control or command and click here on the t-shirts, we're going to create a new layer, all right? And then with just a random color here, I'm just basically showing you guys the quick version of what I did to create these templates. All right, so basically we have a t-shirt there that's on its own layer, okay? What I did is right click on here, went down to convert to a smart object, okay? Now, as a smart object, we can use smart filters like the liquify filter. And this is really cool because the, the filter, the liquify filter applies to the smart object, but you can actually change what's inside of the smart object at any time. That might be a little confusing, but it's going to make a lot more sense as I continue to go through. Okay. So basically made that a selection, filled it with the color and then turned it into a smart object. All right, let's just lower the opacity of this layer just a little bit. There we go and then basically run a filter. We're gonna to go to filter and down here to liquify. Okay, and then here in our liquify filter, basically I'm gonna hit the show backdrop button so I can see what the wrinkles in the shirt actually look like. Then using the forward warp tool, I just wrink like moved the shirt with the actual wrinkles in the background. Okay, so basically following each individual wrinkle, I actually moved those around. All right. So that's the idea of what I did to create this filter. Now the coolest part about this guys is all you have to do is double click on the filter, sorry, on the smart object itself. And then if I want to just create a word, we'll just say hi here. Why not? Hi guys, how you doing? All right, let's go ahead and go down to our character. I'm going to make that white. There we go. All right, we're going to put that right over there. Now I'm going to make this layer invisible. All right. We're going to just save this out and you're going to see as I save it, it automatically updates here 
good to go. So that's kind of how smart objects work, guys. You can just double click on them and you can update them at any time. So I've already done all the hard work for you. Here's how these layers work. We've got two different layers, one for the back and one for the front. And you can see we've included the wrinkles as well as the shadows and highlights. So they're gonna look completely realistic. All right, so let's go ahead to the back. If we wanna, here's how you do it. Here's how you change the actual template here. Just double click on this smart object, okay? And then you can do whatever you want. If I got a couple of words here, I wanna create, maybe I wanna make time twice there. And in the background, here's a little preview of what the actual uh, t-shirt's gonna look like. All right, so time, 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 why not? So all I have to do, because this is a smart object, we'll just watch it so you guys can see both things happening at the same time. If I hit Command S and save this smart object, it's gonna automatically update on our t-shirt. So we can see, I just make one of these invisible, Command S to save that, and it's gonna automatically update on our template. Okay, and when we're done, we just close that out and we're good to go. So again, to get to that, all you have to do is double click on the smart object. So on this one, we'll just double click right there. It's gonna automatically open this up. If I move this down and save it, it's gonna automatically move it and transform it on my t-shirt because the transformation, there we go. You can see it perfectly blends in. The transformation is done with this liquify filter to the smart object. So whatever I change in smart of the, inside, in smart of the smart object, inside of the smart object, whatever I change inside of the smart object, it's gonna automatically, there we go, save that going to automatically transform it to fit inside of the shirt, which is incredibly cool. All right, let's just move that up, hit Command S to save, and there you can see our beautiful time design. Just close that out when you're good to go, and here we are. Now, if I want to change the color after the fact, just double click right here, and we can still change the base color of the shirt at any time. So, an extremely valuable, <laughs> valuable, variable t-shirt template uh, that I created, and this is how you can use it. So you're gonna be able to download this from flurn.com slash t, and then create basically any t-shirt design that you want with the wrinkles and the highlights and shadows built into it, guys. So again, extremely easy to use and free to download. And that's it for today's episode, guys. If you wanna create your own templates just like this, just follow these key steps. First, we started out by selecting the actual color of the t-shirt. I created a hue saturation adjustment layer and loaded the shirts as a layer mask. This way I'm able to adjust my hue, saturation, and lightness, and it's only gonna be visible where my t-shirts are. This allows us to change the shirts to any color. The next part gets a little more tricky because the design of the shirt, we want to be affected by the highlights and the shadows and also the wrinkles of the shirt. So what we did is start off by creating a smart object. Now, with this smart object, we liquefied it. We actually used the forward warp tool to push and pull the shirt to form the wrinkles of the t-shirt. Now, when you create a smart object, you're not actually editing the object itself. You have, you're editing a reference of that object. So simply double click on that layer and you can edit whatever's inside of the smart object. When you hit Command S to save, it's gonna automatically update in your document, applying that liquify filter to it. So when you wanna make adjustments to this template, simply double click on that smart object, pop your design in there, save it, and it's gonna automatically update on the template. Couldn't be easier, guys, and it's a free download on flurn.com slash t. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, watching this super fun episode, and it was brought to you by a fan, so if you got an idea for an episode, leave it in a comment right down below. And if you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We're gonna throw a giant subscribe button on there. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. Cool. And that's it for today's Tempisode. Tempisode. Nope, that's not a word. Did it. That was so easy. That was so fun, so easy.